Now today we're going to talk about um, formulas and and this is for Excel project uh, chapter number two um, in Blackboard. Right here we have this sheet which you should be familiar with because you're working through this today. Um, we're going to insert the average function first if you click FX here. Um, if you don't see the formula that you need, go ahead and type it up here at the top. And then go ahead and select that. Now, um, you're familiar with this. I know you've done this a lot already. We're going to select our range here. Now, I just want to caution you, be careful, because this is your total row. If you select this data, too, it's going to throw it off completely. Um, this is not part of the data set for the average. So make sure you select just the range that you need. Um, that gives us our average, and of course you can use drag fill to carry it across. For this one, you're going to use max, I believe in the project. We're going to again select our range. Now we don't want to select too much. These two are too much. Just the data range itself, and for lowest you're going to do min. But we'll, the reason I'm creating this video today is because down at the bottom it tells you to create, uh, or to do a formula without doing a predefined function, which would be the average, the max, your sum formulas, uh, count if. It's going to tell you just to do a formula without it. So before you uh, begin, you have to start the cell with equals. If you don't do that, Excel does not know that you're trying to do a calculation. So you just want to select equals, and um, it's going to tell you to select cells. Um, I'm not going to do the ones it tells you, but like if I wanted to do this, and it, notice up here it selects B15, and I subtract, I don't know, let's do this one, um, and all I have to do after I select those cells and put what I'm doing in between is hit enter. Notice that it gives me um, a number here. The same thing for this one. All you're doing is division. You do equals. Um, you can select this one. Do the divide sign. We'll select this one. And again, all we got to do is hit enter. Notice that it calculates that for me. Now, the reason, the benefit of the formula, of course, is if I change this number and I make it, I don't know, 50,000. It, it changes all down here because this is a formula. It's not values. Um, you don't need to put equals for these two formulas because you're not using the order of operations. Everything is, is just two different things being subtracted or divided, and there's no multiple steps with addition and multiplication and, and exponents. So um, hopefully that will get you through these steps.